Hello everyone, it is Shipwreck Samantha here and welcome to my series on how to use Procreate. This is episode 5 on how to use the selection tool. This is some scribbles I did from a previous episode and I'm going to be using it as an example today. So to use this selection tool, you can simply go to the layer you want to use, which is right here, I'm selected on this layer. Go and just click this arrow right here. And then now the layer is selected to where you can move it how you want. Let me remove the layer beneath so you can see it better. And so now you can move and transform the layer to a different area of the canvas. You can also change the size by pinching and dragging. I don't recommend making a, a layer small, leaving it that way, and then enlarging it again because it will reduce the quality of it. So know for sure that you want it to be small and stay small when you do that. You can also stretch the canvas a little bit by taking one corner. You can squish it, stretch it. You can't take one corner and drag it independently yet like um, Photoshop does. I'm looking forward to when Procreate is able to figure out how to do that, but this is a recent feature to be able to do this variation where it used to be where you could just enlarge it. So I'm glad they were able to do that because that's helpful sometimes. So you can change the shape and size by doing that. There are a few other things down here, so once the layer is selected, you have this bar down here, and you can do a few different things. You can flip the canvas horizontally, you can flip it vertically, you can rotate it by, 40, I believe it's 45 degrees um, each way, and then you can click the next button here, these looks like two arrows, and it will fill the canvas with the layer. And then you can also click the X and that will just revert the transformations back to what you had before and there's also an undo and redo button down here. The second part of this selection tool is if you click this S right here, this will be a way of selecting a specific part of the layer to move and transform instead of the entire layer. So now I'm on the selection tool so I can just click and drag where I want, I can do this freehand you can see that dotted line or you can do straight lines by just clicking where you want. I usually like to do freehand but this way you can select a certain area that you want. Then once you have that you either can click the plus sign which blocks out everything but the area you trace. So say I can now erase that area that I traced. Or you can do the exact opposite and if you want to go back to your selection you just hold down the S button and this bar comes back up. You can do the opposite by clicking the negative sign. And then now everything, hold on. And now the thing, the area I selected is the only thing that I can't touch. So then I can erase everything around it. This is extremely helpful for Photoshopping and erasing things and also being able to draw in one area without affecting another. And you can also take that area you selected and click and drag it around like you want. So that is the basics of using the selection tool.